Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Guess where I'm going today? Yep, you guessed it. I am going back to France. And oh no, this is not the last time I'm going to France either. So get ready, because there will be another one after this. At this rate, I might as well just buy a apartment there and move there, but we both know that's not gonna happen, mainly because I can't afford that. But today I am heading, I'm flying to Basel or Basel, as my dad told me, I don't know. Whoever's right, let me know. Is my dad right or am I right? Let me know in the comments. We're flying there today and then we've got like a four hour car journey because we are staying at Villa René Lalique, which is just, ugh. I'm so excited. This is going to be incredible. I don't really know what to expect. I've had a look at pictures and it just looks unreal. We're gonna be visiting the Lalique factory. We're gonna be dining at some really amazing restaurants and it should be really lovely. And I'm taking my bestie with me on this trip. So it's gonna be really lovely to get some girl time in as well as some cow time in. But our car is on the drive and Ali has left for Singapore this morning. So we're both out of action, but we've got our house sitter here. We've got our cat sitter as well. And my dad and my stepmom are looting my phone furniture over these like next few days so they're going to be in and out as well so it's going to be a full house still which is good because Lumi will love that. Outfit today is something well a bit different but it is only like an hour's flight so I've got my Joseph leather trousers on which these are a staple well these are actually leather leggings everyone should have a pair of these these are just great for layering under things I've got a Everlane shirt with my initials this was a gift from Laura Mercier and I've got my iconic Balmain jacket this is again another staple one of those luxury items that I'm so glad that I bought because I wear and wear and wear it then I've got some Jimmy Choo Mavis boots which is not the most, I don't know, that's not what I think when I look at these boots that they would be called Mavis, but we're gonna go with that. And then I've got my Dior saddle bag as well and hair is up in a silk scrunchie because you know me, CBA. So we're gonna go downstairs, get in the car, I'm gonna grab a Red Bull as well and we are gonna head to the airport. Let's go. duplex with two rooms so normally it's comfortable you yeah. won't have any issues. Oh, so we've got room each. Oh my goodness. Yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah. We're so sharing. We're so sharing anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Did the lights just come on automatically? Oh my god it does have two rooms. Wow. Holy wow. moly. Size of the bed. I know. I'm going to roll around in that. Look <laughs> at bedside lights. But, well, I bought pajamas that match this room. Of as course well. you did. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> <laughs> Take your room out, Carrie. Oh, wow. Bathroom. Well, that is a big oh, bathroom. Bathroom is shut. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, dear Carrie. Big. This is your room. That's pretty big. That's pretty big. Yeah, it's pretty big. <laughs> Carrie's gonna have a bath. Yes. Yeah. In that <laughs> luxury bath salts for you. I would love some luxury bath salts. <laughs> this wow, is beautiful. This is stunning. Oh, thank you so much. It's amazing. Is that a kiss? Okay, I'm coming downstairs. Oh, the smell of lilies down here is amazing. This sofa. Oh my god, Carrie, we have got two toilets as well. We've got two toilets. Yeah, so this can be the the toilet, or we can take a toilet each. Which toilet would you like to take? I'll take this one. <laughs> 
So we've arrived to our room. There's some gorgeous flowers on the table. I'm sharing a room with Carrie. And usually in these situations, we would share a bed. Well, share a room. But we actually have a duplex with two bedrooms. So, I mean, we'll probably end up sleeping in the same room anyway. But that's not the point. But look at this. This is our little sitting area. Everything is decorated with the Lalique crystal literally everything it's in the, the furniture it's in the cushions the glass the tables the buffet like everything even even the tissue holder has it I, I just can't I can't deal and this is my favorite thing I think I need one of these chairs for my house look at this this is off which car brand is this off is this McLaren I really can't think but I know that they did these sculpture heads for a car brand and I can't remember which one it was but I need this chair this black chair will go perfectly in my house and I feel like this whole decor would go really well in my house we've got the same carpet and everything I love it okay so then we've got this toilet down here with obviously the Lalique glass everywhere again it's in the taps it's in the cupboards it's on the lights let's turn those on so we're obviously going to be staying here for two nights and we're going to visit the factory. I think we're going to the museum as well. We're going to be dining here. We're going to be experiencing everything there is to experience about Lalique. So I'm really, really excited. We have already had a huge introduction to René Lalique himself and everything that he produces, but this is obviously very, very special. So we're here. We've arrived and we are meeting one of the ladies from the team downstairs shortly. I'm very creased because I traveled in this, but let's go upstairs. Before I forget that we're showing you everything. So you go up these gorgeous stairs, which curved staircases, wow. Yeah, having put in a new staircase, I know how expensive they would be. So then this is the little landing area. I'm trying to do this before my battery runs out. And then this is Carrie's room. She's making herself at home. Charging herself up because I stole her battery pack. It's like a like a slightly only slightly smaller version of mine, but we'll probably end up sleeping in here anyway. <laughs> what? You mean I can't escape? Yeah. <laughs> and then this is my room, which is gorgeous and sunny. And look at these light fixtures. I feel like this is the kind of desk I need in my life as well. And a huge big TV. And we have a dear Lydia here. Stunning. I'm going to open that and then I'll quickly show you the bathroom which is through here and absolutely massive. There's me. Hi guys. And then shower, bath and toilet and views. Oh look we've got Lilik bathrobes as well and they're not toweling they're like Terry. Oh snuggle fest. Okay right I'm going to quickly freshen myself up and head downstairs to meet with the team. Dear Lydia, we hope you had a nice travel <laughs> and that you will love Villa René Lalique and Chateau Holberg. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I think it's Hochberg. Hochberg. Oh, it looks like a C, but it's an L. Hochberg. There is lots of things to do around the corner, but you can also simply pamper yourself and enjoy your time by us. Attached is a small gift for your home. Have a lovely time. Oh, Carrie, you've got one as well, so don't feel left out. <laughs> this is so cute. Ooh. Oh, that's oh. so cute. It's from the aquatic collection. Yeah. I'm not even going to take it out because I'm scared I'm going to break it. But it's the most gorgeous little, can you see that? Blue fish, perfect for my home. I love it. Oh, so cute. Oh, thanks guys. Time for cake? Time for cake, yes. Yeah, so we think it's gluten-free. I, I think it's gluten-free. We are just about to tuck in to these cakes that we think are gluten-free. We actually haven't eaten all day, which is good because we're having a two Michelin star meal at the restaurant here at Villa René de Lique. And apparently there's eight courses, so. I'm prepared because all I've had is a deliciously edible all day and a coffee. So this is just gonna line my stomach for the wine tasting later on and then dinner. First things first, 
I have to do the important and quite dangerous job of test driving the bathrobes. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got changed out of my traveling outfit. I don't know whether it's just me, but blah. when you've been traveling, I'm like, no, need to get out of that. So I'm gonna freshen up and give my makeup once over. I think I'm gonna redo my hair, maybe something a little bit slick. I don't know, we'll try it out. And then we're gonna go down for dinner. Miss Grayson is doing her makeup behind me. She just helped me take some pictures of this outfit. I wasn't actually planning on wearing this, but she said that I should, and she's managed to talk me into it as long as she wore heels. So she's wearing a pair of my Jimmy shoes that I haven't even worn yet. We are friendship goals. <laughs> I'm wearing this dress. I bought this for a wedding and it was so not appropriate for, for a wedding. So it's actually never been worn. It's from Rat and Boa. That's, why did I not say my tea then? It's from Rat and Boa. And that's the back and I really like it and it's been shoved in my wardrobe for a very long time. It's kind of this champagne colour and then I've teamed it with some Bottega Veneta accessories. So I've got my shoes on and I've got my little clutchy clutch which I'll link in the description box down below. I'll link all of my outfits down there so that you can find them easily if you want to. My hair is still the same hair from this morning except I have tucked my flyaway bits behind my ears because I don't want to eat them with my dinner. But we're just getting ready to upload my video whilst we're here and then we're gonna head down and have some dinner which is going to be pretty epic but I think we're having wine first, first and foremost. This is where we're going to be spending our, well the beginning of our evening tonight. This is the wine cellar here at Villa Rene Lalique and there are 60,000 bottles of wine here and um, I'm gonna give, give it my best shot to sample all 60,000 in one night. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But we're coming down here later on. We're gonna come here before dinner and it should be incredible, but oh, Ali, if you're watching, which you better be because you're my husband, this is a wine cellar. <laughs> Good morning everyone, I am having a great skin day, if I do say so myself. Oh, my skin has been on such a journey recently and I am loving doing makeup in the mornings. I'm feeling so confident. It really does make such a difference when you just use good products, it really does. I've also done my hair, I've straightened my hair, which again, not something I do very often at the moment. We are going to the Lalique factory this morning and also the Lalique museum after what was a incredible, incredible meal. I'm sure 
in all of the beautiful shots that we've captured of that night you will see the food was as tasty as it looked it was exceptional i've never ever dined like that in my life and i hope that's not the last time because it was really really something special all of the wine oh we found the most gorgeous white wine here oh, i don't even think that you can get it in the uk but we're gonna try we are gonna try and oh i just i don't even know which dish was my favorite what was my favorite i cannot remember i even had things like mushrooms if you've been on my channel for a while you'll know i'm not a girl that likes mushrooms but i ate like two two things that had mushrooms in oh yeah changed woman over here and i had beetroot which if you watched a very very old vlog where i prepared food at soho farmhouse i don't like beetroot but i ate a lot of beetroot may have been a touch rich at all of that food and wine for my tummy we know that i have a very sensitive tummy but i'm fine this morning and that's all that matters and i'm up and i'm dressed and i'm going to show you my outfit because that's what we do on this channel so let's have a look and then we're going to get going oh and also how cute is this they got me my morning red bull i love you guys yeah so we're gonna get ready and go and explore the factory and the museum this morning and i'm really really looking forward to it it's my gorgeous day look at this out of my window it is so nice and fresh as well but look it's so quiet so so quiet i sound like what's her name bjork it's all so quiet <laughs> outfit of the day is some satin Joseph trousers that I had tailored, cropped up a little bit, and I also had my pleats put in. I have a mango shirt, which I've knotted. I've got some Dior flats, because I don't know how much walking we're gonna do. And then I've got my Bottega Veneta clutch, and then hair is slick Rick. So that's the look for today. So let's get going. So we've just arrived at the Lalique factory and we're going to go and have a look at the... Is it the cold process? The cold process. Yes, we're going to go and look at the cold process before first. Before they go for their croissants. Yeah, before they go for their croissants. And then we're going to go and look at the hot process as well. I'm so excited for this. I've already seen so many amazing pieces. Hi, Cal. Morning. Hi, good morning. Look how nice and dapper he looks in his shirt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh Here we are at the first step of the cold process. The first thing we realize is to secure pieces from the hot process. Yeah. The first step is to secure the piece. Cut and adjust the good size. We have cut the dangerous part and adjust the size. It's a big grain, yeah. big grain. It's not finished. <laughs> intermediate step. In the intermediate stage. Sounds like my life. Yeah. <laughs> Here we uh, assemble metal and crystal. Okay. For chandeliers or for table and floor. I love that you have a lily chandelier yeah, in the factory. In the factory. <laughs> we adjust the size of the leg and stick a metallic part with plaster. And after we assemble with the basement. Ah, that's the base check all pieces we realize a total table check if it's good we uh, go to the packaging uh, for the, the customer what happens if it's not good does it get does the glass get molten molt down again and remade or is it just no good during this stage it's a final stage but sometimes when you manipulate the piece you can you can create a floor a scratch yeah cat, cat Scratch. It's possible to repair, but to detect, we are obliged to check. A, a person from the quality control coming uh, here, check all the table and say, you must uh, repair, you must repair. Wow. And only after, when it is good, we uh, put in the box to, go. to the storage. We are currently in the area of the factory where the magic happens. So in the area that we were just in, that's where they kind of get the initial shape. Here is where the women and the figures get their expressions on their faces and that's done by hand and it's done by some of the best workers in France. So this is really spectacular to be able to see this and see these incredible pieces come to life.
We have just arrived to the Lalique Museum and I've got my headset on because it's all done basically, oh, I don't know what I've done, English, there we go. It's all done by these little handheld devices that basically talk you through everything that's in the museum. I've already had a look at the gift shop though, oh gosh. <laughs> but we're gonna start off our tour. We've all got our headsets on and we're all ready to go. We are just sitting down to lunch and we are a few courses deep. I've lost count again, but it looks like I'm eating a fairy wing. If anyone's ever read the books, the, the garden fairies, they were like my favorite books growing up. And uh, this looks like one of their wings. But I haven't tried it yet, so it might, it might taste really lovely. <laughs> Good evening everyone. Oh, the lights in here are not working well on my camera, but I might look rather fresh faced, but that's because I had a nap and it was good. <laughs> Both Carrie and I ended up having naps after lunch. So we went and had lunch at the same restaurant that we had dinner last night. And we were like, oh no, no, it won't be the same as last night. We won't have like loads and loads of courses. I think we ended up having about five courses. <laughs> Yeah, so we're both like, oh my god, but luckily we're not going to like the same place, the same kind of place as where we have been having lunch and dinner. We're going to Chateau Hochberg. Is that right? Chateau Hochberg. Yes, that yes, that's where we're going. And we're having dinner there and then we're also having lunch there tomorrow, but apparently it's a la carte. So I'm hoping that I can get a Caesar salad. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I'm praying for, but I don't think I'll get that but hopefully there'll be something super healthy for me to have on the menu because I'm feeling like I've indulged quite a lot and yeah I also had a lot of wine I even had wine at lunch because there's oh I told you about it last night that wine oh so good yeah so we came back here and just shot some content and then I had a rather wonderful nap and now I'm up I've refreshed my makeup which is quite nice I've got a different color lip on now what is this it's a MAC lip that I randomly found in my lipstick drawer and I was like oh let's try that so I'm wearing mullet over in powder kiss lipstick it's 314 from MAC and I quite like it because it's a bit like spice the lip liner but in a lipstick but it's really comfortable it's like a comfortable matte lipstick to wear so it's nice I'm going to show you my outfit of course what else would I do at this time of the evening? I'll just show you what I'm wearing, really. I've got some trousers on, so... Um, and I'm taking a cardigan, because I was cold last night. So, yeah, it's not like summertime here anymore. It is definitely fresh. So I've got my cardi with me tonight. So, outfit without the cardigan is the Zara bodysuit in nude, which they're so comfortable and they're so nice to wear. I really, really like them. And then I've got my Joseph straight-legged trousers on which I had tailored around the waist and I think I had taken up as well and then I've got my Bottega Veneta bag and Bottega Veneta shoes and then I'm taking an acne cardigan as well and I've got my hair down I've not got my hair in a hunbun which is different for me at the moment but yeah I'm gonna meet Carrie and Cal and we're gonna get going I have the sleepiest face I think I've ever seen but I had a nap, so I felt great. But we finished dinner and we just got back and we have returned to cake on the table, which oh, I'm really looking forward to. Although, Carrie, are you gonna have the cake? I haven't got room for cake, villain. Come on. I've eaten more in the last two days than I've probably eaten in the past week. Yeah, but 
cake. One more cake. You want cake? Yeah, one more cake. But I've established something with Carrie that, I don't know if I've told you this, but I watched, like, this is the most unflattering angle ever, but we're gonna go with it because we're sleepy. That's chocolate coconut cake, babe. I don't think it is. What is it? I think it's just cooked a bit longer. I don't, look at the, we're on the top. No, it's like not. It. <laughs> I just asked Carrie if she ever watched the programme Game On when she was growing up. Did anyone else watch Game On? I watched Game On. And one of my favourite scenes from Game On, and if my brother ever watches my videos, he'll remember that we used to cry with laughter over this. But there's a scene when one of the guys from Game On is in bed and he goes, we're coming back to have tea and that's why this is in my head. He goes, tea. Tea. He's calling for tea. 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 And then you just hear bang and he falls out of bed. And it's probably funnier when you actually watch it and you don't have me explaining it to you because it's just a crap story. But yeah, we're going to have peppermint tea. We've ordered it to the room. So I'm going to go and put my pyjamas on, get my makeup off, and I'm going to do my skincare, which is just, it's just a joy at the moment. I'm not going to lie, it stings a bit because retinol makes your face sting quite a lot. But doing my skincare makes me very, very happy. So I'm going to wash my face and get into my dramas and eat some cake. My favourite part of the evening. <laughs> 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 I don't know why Chloe brushing my teeth in the building. <laughs> you know how some people look like a goddess when they do their skincare routine? Not me! <laughs> <laughs> this is special. I think it's also important to note that you've turned your dressing gown inside out so that it's fluffier on the inside. Rain! <laughs> it's always softer on the outside. Why would it go on the outside? Ain't nobody rubbing up against this. <laughs> I was going to swear then, but I'm not going to swear. What do you mean? Where's are in the bed. If you rub up against me... <laughs> you <laughs> I'm my oh teeth! My <laughs> <laughs> I said I was midway through cleaning oh. my teeth, but I could not film this. Yeah, in a two-bedroom apartment, we, we did one bedroom last night, and tonight we're trying the big yeah, bed. Yeah, to do the grand tour. <laughs> we did the big bed. You still filming? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful, Bernard. Beautiful. No one's doing a wee, by the way. Our toilet makes oh, a yeah. noise. <laughs> Just cow. <laughs> We've been there a while. Anyway. Face wash scene over. No. No? No. Oh, because what are you going to do? I'm going to do the uh, home alone scene. <laughs> That's what you do every time you put retinol on. Right, what am I going to do first? I really like this stuff. Flawless skin, perfecting water moisture mist. I've already done that much since Paris because I spray it all the time. Flawless skin, perfecting mm. mist. Yeah. Why have you not been spritzing this on my face? I, I need it on some... my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, be perfect. <laughs> I love that I'm dribbling toothpaste. Oh, it stings. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. <laughs> <laughs> right, now we are going in. Oh no, eye cream first. I'm going to use the Darfan Intral Creme Anti Posh. Anti Posh? Ah. Oh tea! Oh, tea survived. I was like, thank you! Merci! Merci beaucoup! Merci beaucoup! Do you want the top? Stop the. Is that stingy things? It sings with the retinol. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. It feels great, kids. <laughs> Do your skin care. <laughs> Be savage with your acids. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I was thinking earlier, I was like, sometimes when I've got like really bad texture, in fact, quite often, I will use a bit of liquid gold first and then retinol 
and then not moisturize. <laughs> I'm still dribbling my toothpaste. This is disgusting. Grossian. That's like when I use the, the Alpha H overnight intense serum stuff. Oh, I've never used that. Oh, that's go. brutal. I do that and then I follow it with the Skin Doctors resurfacing cream. <laughs> that's one that you feel. Face. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, who needs bonfire night? I've got fireworks all year round. Okay, retinol, 0.3%, like the Woofler one. No, actually, it doesn't sting that bad. You have done how many nights in a row? I do every night. Not recommended, by the Is way. It not? No, you're supposed yeah. to use it like once or twice a week and build no. build up to it. No, you're supposed to use it every night. Retinol is supposed to be used every single night. It's saying something on screen that I don't know what it means. It's saying you a fine piece of ass. <laughs> <laughs> can we? Can okay, can we, can we stop this? <laughs> Thank you for always laughing at my really rubbish jokes. So, that is retinol on, and then I'm going to put on a Dauphin lip balm, lip balm, lip balm, okay, here's one I prepared earlier, and then I have to do the bougie bargy. On your bargy! This is the stuff that I got from Dr. Aya, so if you can see the red splodges, here, here, and here, that's what this is for. Oh. Back kit. Where? The back kit. What? The back kit. This one? The back one. Ah, vanity set. Good shout, Jason. So this is what I do. I don't put it all over my face. I just apply it on the spot. So here. Spot. Here. Spot. Spot. I've also been wearing a lot of eyeshadow recently, which means that I have to put this on my eyelids. This is the Lano all over cream and this is my eraser for any like sore skin or dryness. If Ali ever comes to me and he's like, oh, I've got this here, I'm like, Lano. <laughs> and that is what you do <laughs> your skin This care. is why, aren't I lucky you guys to sleep with this? <laughs> You shouldn't put this much on, really. Well, you probably should, but you probably should rub it in. Yeah, that's what I mean. You look like you've just <laughs> face planted a part of cream. Mm. Sometimes I might put some cream on, but I can't show you the cream that I'm using because it's top secret. It's top secret. But in the mornings, I put on a really like rich, indulging cream on my face. To put lots of like nourishment back in. SPF, Vit C, Bosch. I love how you flinched then as well. She was like, She could have our mm. creamy. I mean, not cream, tea. You want your cake. I want the cake, but I'm only having cake if you have it. I'm not having cake. Well, I'm then. done with cake. I'm so full, Millen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wait for the cow. Let's go have our tea. <laughs> okay. Come on. <laughs> I got you flowers. <laughs> <You're such a laughs> <shit. laughs> we called Millen's nap earlier her magic nap because it was like a reset button of just joy. That. I was so tea. grumpy before, wasn't I? Tea and cake. Millen and cake. What more could you want? Cowie. Cowie? That's your new name, Cowie. What? What? Breakfast is served. <laughs> I like those mugs. Mugs. They're nice, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I had these yesterday. Very oh. snazzy. Whose is whose? Both caffeine fiends in different senses. <laughs> Both savages. <laughs> we can double up. <laughs> Morning! Oh, blurry. Hello.
There you are. Do you know what? It doesn't look like I had a good night's sleep last night. I still look so puffy in my face. We went to bed so late and we didn't sleep well the night before. But I just don't... Oh. And you wanted to get up early. Now I look like a sloth. You are a sloth. Uh -huh. Get out of bed. I was up at <laughs> seven. <laughs> Lol. We are just having a coffee in the room. It's the last day here. We're leaving this afternoon. We've still got lunch. Honestly, do you know what? It just feels like we've come here and eaten. That's all we have done. We've eaten our way across Villa René Lalique. That's basically it. Yeah. We've eaten and we've watched glass being made. Yes. Oh, that was amazing. It was incredible. We are going to go back to where we had dinner last night at the beautiful Chateau Hochberg. And we've asked them for a very, very healthy lunch because we have overindulged quite a lot whilst we've been here. I cannot wait to get home and do a spin class. I don't know if I've told you. Have I told you? I don't know if I've told you. But I now am a member of the Les Mille. Oh, no, I did tell you. I did tell you. I told you in my other vlog. I did tell you. I'm gonna have my coffee. I need to wake up a little bit more. This is my last outfit here in France and it's a super simple all black one. I'm wearing black Stella McCartney faux leather trousers. I've got my Jimmy Choo boots on again. I've got a black H&M tee that you would have seen in my haul that I did, my little high street haulie haul. And then I've got a Christian Dior belt and Christian Dior bag. I've also got my bum arm blazer just to like throw on if I get cold, but then I have a cardigan, which is my black acne one as well. My suitcase is killing my vibe right now. But yeah, really, really comfortable, really easy to wear and all black, which means I can spill as much crap down me as I want. It's such a shame that the light is behind me because it's always hard to see a all black outfit when it's like this, but hopefully I can show you somewhere else. I just don't know what is wrong with my face. Like I just, I know to you guys, I probably don't look that tired, but I can like, it almost feels like my eyes are like extra watery and like there's just extra puffiness around them. And I'm not tired in the slightest, but my face just feels like puffy. And I don't know why, like when I go like this, I'm like, oh, you look like you need a good night's sleep, but I had a great night's sleep. So not really sure what's going on, but yeah, we've just chilled in the room this morning and um, now we're gonna head for some lunch. So we said to the people here at Chateau Hochberg that we wanted something really healthy for lunch today and they've done aubergine and what looks like a, a little sauce. It looks like some... Aubergine three ways. Aubergine. So oh. that'll be like an aubergine tapenade. Good job you're here. And then she's also got us drinking wine. I, I did nothing of the sort. Uh, you the said it was nice. He poured. Yeah, he tasted, he nice. taste poured and then poured you a full glass. It's your fault. Oh well, I took one for the team. <laughs> Me too. Just forgot to film my food, so I was like, oh, someone film my food. But or my food. <laughs> it's, what is it? And um, it's pumpkin, walnut. potato, caramelized walnut, spinach. Looks good. It smells Verdict. incredible. Is that your review? Mm. One word. Mm. Mm. Or a sound mm. effect. Mm. Write that down. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know you're filming me. <laughs> I can see you. you. Fooled me, I thought that was really discreet. <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, he needs to... Oh no! <laughs> Need no like. This is what Carrie has set up as her discreet <laughs> filming. <laughs> I thought it was good, you were drinking wine. It's a standoff, draw. That's <laughs> 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 Cal, <laughs> taking the family photo. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're stood in, the, in that wine glass. Wait, move over. Put, no, 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 move over oh, that way. Put your hands up like that. No, 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 just put them straight. Yeah, yeah, there you go. You're in the wine glass. What would I do in the wine glass? <laughs> it's just funny, you're here. What are you, what are you making me do in this restaurant? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, right, now stand on one leg, jump up and down, <laughs> tap your head. Do the hokey cokey and you turn around. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Whee! Cheers, team. Cheers, team. Melinda's <laughs> right in it. That's what you were doing, that's why I thought I was being discreet. 
can show what was that. <laughs> <clears throat> no photos. I'm too famous. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Do you know what? I'm so glad that there's YouTube because we just get to like, even if no one watch, we just get to be our weird selves and just put it out there on the internet. And if people like it, great. If not, it's still going out. <laughs> yeah, my favourite videos are the, are the footage that we take of each other when it never makes YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> I have to tell Carrie all the time to take out the footage of me when I'm drunk. I love filming Liz when she's drunk. I love filming us when we're drunk. Do you know what? Because you filmed me picking your nose. I wasn't even drunk then. But oh, no. We should put that this in the story. This is how. This is how. I don't know why your your nose is so enjoyable to me. Maybe perhaps because it's so much smaller than mine. <laughs> I'd like to know what that feels like. <laughs> Am I showing it? No, no. We can put it in the video and put it in here now, Cal. Oh. <laughs>